Hi everyone and welcome to my channel. So in today's video I thought I would do a little fitness routine video telling you guys what I do every week, how often I do it, etc. in order to get fit, etc. As, as some of you might know, ever since January I kind of embarked on a more serious fitness journey than I ever have before. What I mean by that is just like really kind of drastically changing my routine up. So I've always been rather active, I've always done sports or gone to the gym or gone running or etc. Not always, but for a large part of my life I've pretty much always been doing that and I think ever since I started out eating a vegan diet I've also I would say predominantly eaten more healthy of course having my few bad months and bad half years and all that kind of jazz as well so in the beginning of this year I said I just I just want to see what happens if I drastically change that into something different and I was up for it. I was up for a bigger challenge and I needed something like, I needed something new in my personal life that I can challenge myself with. So that was what I chose to do and it's been amazing. I've already done a video on telling you guys a little bit about how I started, why I started it, etc. and what I feel like have been the key factors why I've been so kind of successful on it this time. Of course, determination has a lot to do with it but it's been amazing and I feel amazing and I've never loved exercise or the gym for that matter as much as I do now and I'm really proud and happy of how much I've come to love like healthy food how disciplined I've been about eating a clean diet in terms of always cooking our lunches making sure I have a healthy breakfast and literally you know, eating, I'm not restricting myself in any way. I'm just having fun with it and seeing where the journey goes and it's been amazing. So I've definitely seen some results already, um, definitely seeing some muscle toning up. I would say it's happening relatively slow or slower than I thought that it would, but I think everyone there is an individual de also depending on how they're going about their journey. As I said, I'm still quite relaxed. I mean, whilst I eat clean and healthy, I still eat and we go out to eat sometimes. If I want a cookie, I'll have a freaking cookie and you know, that kind of jazz. And um, also in terms of exercising, you know, usually I really love going five to six times a week, but then there will be those weeks where I only go two or three times and um, that also happens. So I'm not like too strict in terms of that, but that's more of a rare occasion. So, you know, I'm just going on it in a chill way. I've set up a routine to my day so that five to six times a week, it's just almost inevitable that I do go to the gym and set up a routine so that I eat healthy and clean foods every single day. So in that sense, it's been easy and also really chillaxing and just a great, great journey. So I haven't like lost a ton of weight i've maybe lost a little bit on my waist area which is great um you know and because when you're building muscle i think which is what i'm doing right now i'm also like my butt is definitely i would say growing rather than getting smaller i don't think because of that as well that i'm like changing shape to a smaller one because i'm you know i was never too big to start off with so i'm just like my body's just changing from kind of being unmuscular to being more toned and more muscular i suppose which has been great and i'm loving it and i love seeing a difference even though you know that progress that visual progress is you know slower than i thought it would be i suppose but that doesn't matter i'm not i'm not worried about that i don't mind because i'm having so much fun anyway so without any further ado let's go to my fitness routine what i do in terms of fitness, in terms of going to the gym and how often, etc., to get fit and to have gotten as fit as I have until now. So let's go. So I'm just gonna go through my weekly schedule with you guys and this is what I would do on a pretty like normal week. So a week which is not up to here with meetings or other events or anything like that. And also obviously being here in Germany and this is how I then manage my sort of fitness and healthy eating routine and everything like that so let's go so we start off with 
Mondays and I love Mondays. Mondays is like I have to exercise and go to the gym on Mondays because Monday is like my most motivated day ever. I just feel like so yeah, let's do this. Let's go for it. Today is going to be an amazing work day. I'm going to get so much done and then I'm going to go to the gym and you know, I'm going to have a kick ass workout. And my favorite days are leg days. So as you might know, I do do strength training at the moment at the gym. So I do have my leg days and arm and back days, etc. And I do two leg days a week that are completely and only focused on my legs and glutes, etc. So Mondays, because that is kind of my most motivated, I have very good workouts on Mondays usually anyway. So that's when I really like to focus and target my legs and glutes to really get the most out of that leg day because those are, you know, tend to be the biggest muscle group on your body. So I love just, you know, really giving them a good push, you know, really challenging myself with the weights as well. And what I do in the gym, it does really depend on the day because I go to the gym after my work, which is around 6, 7 p.m., sometimes even 8 p.m. And once I love going to the gym on Mondays, the one negative thing is that it is always so, so full of people. So a lot of YouTubers and, you know, Instagrammers or social media influencers or whatever who do go to the gym and you always see their videos and the gym is completely empty. I'm just going to have to assume that they are able to go like on midday or, you know, morning, like 10 a.m. because I could imagine the gym to be very empty then. But at 6 p.m., at 7 p.m. on a Monday, the gym is like, it's like an ant farm it is so full of people so my learning is that if i go there with a strict plan of these are the exercises i want to do and need to do then i'm just going to be there for three hours because almost all the machines are always kind of just taken so you just have to do what is free then and make the most out of it and that's just what i have to do so yeah that includes weighted squats either with the smith machine or then the free weights you know if that's not free then i'll do weighted squats with dumbbells you know you always find a way to do a weighted squat that's not going to be a problem and then it's also going to include some one-legged squats oh my god i don't remember the name of this but it's where can you see it's where you go like <laughs> It's where you go like that and I do them also always weighted usually with free weights or on the Smith machine again and I also love 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 to do hip thrusts that's one of my favorite favorite exercises again I do that either with free weights or a Smith machine if a Smith machine is free we have two at our gym I will literally <laughs> I could literally spend a whole leg day just on that machine because you can utilize that for so many different exercises. And I apologize, I don't always remember the real names for all of these exercises, but um, I also do the leg pushes. Again, I know that has a normal name for it. I'll have the names on the screens. I'll do that as well. And then there are like plenty of other machines in the gym um, that I will do like abductions, adductions, and etc. So I really just utilize that what is Free, but I always try to really have a like heavily weight focused training and not do anything just with my body weight. So really challenging my muscles with you know more weights, etc. That's how I have an amazing leg day on a Monday. Then we go to Tuesday, which is a day that I will usually do my arms and back. Again, it Tuesday is like the second most filled up day in the gym. So again, you just kind of have to go with the flow with whatever machine or weights are free. But then again, for my arms and back, I do use a lot of like dumbbells to um, do the exercises. So I'll do bicep curls, I'll do shoulder pushes um, with dumbbells. And I always try to challenge myself there with the weights and just get it up or at least be able to push with higher weights, more reps. And then I will do like back muscles on the bench as well. Again, so I can really utilize like one bench and some dumbbells. And that's always the best for me so that I'm not always having to um, change machines. But then I also do the pull downs, which is excellent for your back as well. And then I will also work on these muscles, either doing this exercise or the one with the cable machine pulling down on my triceps, right? Are these the triceps? I think 
these are triceps biceps and triceps i think that was that's right and yeah that's what i pretty much do on a arm day just as examples i'm not gonna go like too thoroughly through each and every exercise because like i said each and every day is different okay and then we have wednesday which will be either a day off so i won't do any gym or i will have a whole body workout so i always try to have one day in a week of just whole body workout and focus on all the muscles in my bodies and kind of do those exercises what i hadn't done like on Monday on leg day and on Tuesday on arm day that I also like to do because there are so many great machines and amazing exercises that you can do. So I kind of have Wednesday or my third day for that to really have a whole body workout. And I also do some exercises with just my body weight, for example, as well. What I forgot to mention, of course, is my warm ups, which I always have. So on Monday on my leg day, I usually have more of a laid back kind of warm up either running or on the stepper machine and I'll do five to ten minutes sometimes I'll do sprints most of the times I do like sprints so just like high intensity just because I get really really bored if I don't do that just doing like um, steady paced workouts or cardio is really boring for me I love to kind of challenge myself every minute or so but sometimes I'll do steady um, steady pace as well because I know that's also good on Tuesdays on my arm and back days I usually have a longer cardio session from 20 to 30 minutes um, mixed up with a little bit of sprints because I usually do that on the running machine or just high intensity again just getting my heart pace up a little bit every minute and so because I enjoy that um, and yeah and then on Wednesdays my on my whole body workout again I usually have a 30 minute cardio session again kind of like on Tuesdays with high intensity and stuff like that as well because I really enjoy it and then I just have a good whole body body workout session in the gym whoa it's bright I must look like the sun but you know with different exercises that can really be anything I do pull-ups I love to do my push-ups then if I haven't managed to do them on Tuesday for example um, and I do like I said really anything that I haven't haven't managed to do on Monday on Tuesday just to mix it up a little bit and work on those different muscle groups as well the lighting you guys Ah, the lighting is so frustrating, but honestly, I've gone back and forth to the camera like 10 times already. I'm like sweating because it's like a workout just to keep the camera adjusted, even though I said I wouldn't do that, but sometimes sometimes it's hard to resist, but it is so cloudy, it doesn't make sense for me to go adjusted because it will just, in 30 seconds, be different again. Um, anyway, then we go to Thursday, which again depends. If I didn't have a day off on Wednesday, I will have it, definitely have it on thursday and if i had a day off on wednesday then thursday i would um not do my whole body workout but i will go back to legs because i like having my leg day after a break day preferably if that's possible so i'll go back to doing a leg day again maybe with different exercises it will really depend on the day but Thursday is luckily usually a bit more empty <laughs> in the gym than Monday so I have a little bit more room and space to do what I really want to do and I usually even have a longer session on Thursdays just because of that because there's there's so much more space and room and you know freedom to do what you want and then on Friday I will again have an arm and back day with some <laughs> Uh, more intense cardio and then Saturday I will either go to the gym and have a whole body workout or I will go running with Alex because we also like to go running on Sunday I would go running so on Sundays or one day a week I just keep it at steady paced cardio and I love doing steady paced cardio outside whilst running and listening to some good music that is fine but just doing steady paced cardio at the gym on a machine is just too boring for me that's like pretty much approximately my gym schedule what's been working for me what's been really fun for me and um, what I've really been loving and I know that was maybe a bit confusing because it just kind of depends on when I have my day off or my rest day depending on whether it's it's usually Wednesday or Thursday but obviously I'm also flexible in case I have meetings on another day or event or whatever just to make sure that I fit everything that I want into one week but that is kind of the base of it if I and that is a week where I would be doing exercise six days a week where one of the days is just steady paced cardio and five of them is then actually doing strength training 
at the gym. So that's been my fitness routine, which I have absolutely been loving. I've been very inspired from different um, like fitness YouTubers or influencers. For example, naturally Stephanie, she's amazing. Chrissy Chela is, in my opinion, absolutely amazing. I even bought her app and I used her app for a while. Um, I stopped using it purely for the reason that because the gym was always so full, it was impossible for me to just go exactly as her like her exercises were, even though she has like alternatives. But when the gym is that full, you just need to you just need to go there where there is space and you cannot really follow that what is on an app unless you do have three hours time and you have time to wait until someone's ready with a machine because at least at our gym you know if i would be waiting for like a smith machine or something it can take 20 minutes because sometimes these dudes are there for a long time and like i said if if a smith machine is free i might even do a whole exercise routine there so it could take like 20 to 30 minutes that i'm there so you know, it's just not worth the wait at all for me. Yeah, I hope you guys got some inspiration. If you've been wanting to start up your fitness routine or you want to get fit for summer, like, you know, now is the time to start. You can still get started, you know, figure out a good routine that will fit your daily routine as well so that it's not that much work. It doesn't feel like an extra effort or anything. Once you fit it into your daily routine, it's just like brushing your teeth. Trust me, it takes them one month, two months maybe to start to really feel like it's a habit, but it's been amazing. I love it. I hope you guys liked this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up, subscribe for my channel for more videos, and I'm super excited to see you guys in my next one. Until then, you guys, moi moi.